Okay, in this session we're going to briefly look at the classification search uh, in Aspasnet. So from the Aspasnet homepage we can see uh, a menu bar for classification search, so we'll just click on that and we come up with this page which gives us uh, the section headings for the classification, human necessities, textiles, um, physics and so on. Uh, and the thing I want to draw attention to here is this search for function, uh, which will uh, search, I think, the titles and abstracts of, of documents in a SPASnet for your search term and then try and identify um, the relevant classifications. So let's carry on with our pizza example. So let's see which parts of the classification system contain pizza. So here we have finished or partly finished bakery products. We have uh, baking, roasting, grilling, frying, baker's ovens. I guess that's ovens for pizzas. Then we've got treatment of flour or dough by adding materials. We've got batters, doughs and mixes. We've got containers, packaging elements or packages. So that would be pizza boxes, methods for preparing dough and so on and so forth. Now we can click into um, the results, you see we've got a symbol here telling us there's quite a high hit. Uh, it can be, ah, here we go. Here we have, let's just move back up to the top, uh, finished or partly finished bakery products is what's called the subclass level. And we now have a group down here called pizza, so, which is a special bakery product. And now we can see that if we click find patents, the SPASnet will go off and find patents that are in this area. We've got 898 results roughly, and it will display roughly 500 for us. And here we have, well, that doesn't look terribly promising, but we do have uh, pizza dough formulations. We have method for man manufacturing an ice cream filled pizza. That sounds wildly exciting when you put it into uh, an oven. So here we have our various classification codes from the cooperative patent classification. Now if we go uh, back to our search, uh, now it it's quite easy to just simply select one or more classification codes. So we selected that one there. I'm just going to go back a little. So let's try uh, something under containers, see if we have any obvious hits. It can be useful here to just go um, hit the search and let's see if, and the answer is no. Uh, so let's try, let's try our what looks like our pizza boxes. So now we can see that we've added pizza boxes to our search. And um, if we click find patents now, it would now click for those that relate to bakery products and also to pizza boxes. Now I'll just do that. And here we have, ah, what this has done is actually, it's done an and search. So it's look for those that have, let me just cross check that. It's got look for those that have both uh, the dough references and also uh, the uh, pizza box references. Now we can, which is quite useful of course for restricting uh, searches. So. This is an incredibly useful tool for restricting your searches. So if we wanted to do pizza dough, let's just put that in. Then we have a different list of classification codes. We could close these ones out um, and we could then select, either look inside these for the more detailed classification codes that we had before, that's that one there. Um, or we could we could just select the relevant subclasses. Now I think this is going to do an AND search again. Let's just check that. Uh, yep, it's only come up with 11 results. 
what we might want to do is um, go to our advanced search we need to take a note uh, on our notepad so let's say a21d and a21c are looking fairly promising a21d or a21c so we would just enter a21d or a21c and hopefully this will work and we'll put in pizza in the title or abstract search and if I'm lucky that will work yep and that works as an or search so so that's looked for pizza in the title or the abstract and then it's looked in the areas that restricted the classification to A21D or A21C. Now you can string uh, quite a number of those together. Uh, let's try uh, C12N which is our more biotechnological issues to see who's making reference to pizza uh, in C12N and there's one method for production of yeast for pizza and so we could actually run up a string of these uh, so a21d or a21c or and we could also of course as in the previous uh, session we could uh, restrict that to particular years so this is a really good way of starting to construct a query that will allow you to um, limit the results in various ways. I'll just put 2014 uh, in here just to demonstrate that search. Uh, we've got 22 results and now of course as in the previous uh, sessions we could then uh, select all of these results and export them to Excel uh, or to CSV uh, for analysis. So that's the basics of classification search. Uh, I'd also invite you to uh, take a look at the IPC classification systems. The CPC is in many respects the same as the IPC except it's more detailed. The IPC however is more widely used uh, by patent offices around the world. So and we'll come back to this uh, later. So thank you very much.